Hello fellow 3D printers, I'm Jay Wealth Print That Thing and today we are going to be looking at the Bontech Extruder Upgrade Kit for the CR10. Let's go ahead and do it. So Bontech reached out to me, they've been really fun to work with so far, uh, but they sent me two kits. One is for the CR10 and one is for the CR10S. Um, I'm gonna be doing a install for the CR10S and I'll put that up in the little eye once it's ready. So if you're looking for that, go check it out. But today we're gonna to be doing the CR10, the original, and I'm really excited about this. It's a dual drive extruder and it's supposed to have a better grip on the filament and uh, lets you use different types of filaments like flexibles, more exotic filaments, and you should be able to print faster. So really looking forward to this. So let's go ahead and take a look at their website. Um, this is the EXT kit 48 that I have in my hand and it is roughly $85 US. It's for the CR10, CR10S, the Creality Ender 3, TiVo Tornado and other similar models. So we're gonna go to the step-by-step -step guide and really just take this step-by-step -step and see how it goes with mount. All right, so I'm just gonna click on that one. Difficulty, moderate, time required, 10 to 15 minutes. That's exactly what I have. Let's see if it really works. Hex keys and a hobby knife. I got all that, let's go. So they've got a cool little um, PDF here. I'm just gonna download it. Slice that bad boy open. Here we go, we'll go ahead and open the box. We've got this nice little congratulations. It's got this nice little Sticker, very cool. Definitely be using that. A little nice packaging, nice foam here. Mmm, mm, yeah, so yummy. And so we have the right hand extruder with filament guide. Oh, so a little trap door opens up here and feeds it in. Pretty cool. Feels good, it feels really well made. All right, and then we have the motor gear. So we have this little guy here, some kind of gear and spring with a little pin, and it's got the uh, correct and wrong way to do it. So that's very helpful for me. And so then we have the actual mount. This is just something that's been 3D printed. It feels like a 3D printed part, like PLA. And then it's got the four M3 nuts right here and that's all I see. So here's the inside of it with the gear and then, you know, that just fits on there. It says start by unloading the material from your printer. After the filament has been removed, turn off the heater, wait for it to cool down and then turn off the printer. All right, let's do that. And now the fun part, stripping down the CR10 and adding the new gear. So go ahead and heat it up, take out the filament. There you go. And just unplug that bad boy and remove that tubing, just like that. Next step, remove that old extruder that you don't need anymore. We're gonna unscrew all the screws and take it off. Take off the lever, take off that spring, take it all away and make sure your stepper motor doesn't drop. So, you know, keep a little hand under there and just set that over to the side. We'll be using him later. Give him a little blow job and, you know, get those dust particles off from all that years of printing and remove the top little plate there. And now we're going to swap the gear drive. So take that piece off here, the old one, slide it off and then take the new one, but make sure the smooth part is up, just like the picture says. Don't lose that little screw and, you know, just put it on top, but it is really, really tough to push it on there. So I got smart and used this little tool and pushed it down and you want it to be about a millimeter high. Now use that tiny screw that we talked about earlier and screw it in to the gear. And you want to make sure that you're doing the screw part on the flat part of the stepper motor bar there. That way it's really nice and snug. And then you'll just feed it through that hole and make sure the cord is sticking out that way. And you'll want to put it kind of how you, you're normally used to doing it, but that is wrong. You want to stick it, you know, outward. So let's go ahead and unplug the power and let's Put on the new extruder. Yeah, screw that bad boy on. And, you know, it should be looking pretty much like this. You know, you want it to look like that. Maybe do a thumb roll right there with that gear. Make sure your gears are turning correctly. And then now we're going to take off these little screws and put it where the old extruder was. 
just screw those other the new screws back on and just get it real nice and tight. I did have some issues with these screws here. Um, I was trying to get them in there, but that bar right there is kind of in the way. So I was having trouble. So I used my old longer screws and kind of got it snug in there. And that let me put the new ones in. Now for the electrical updates, flipping and reducing currents. This is the part I didn't really want to do, but you got to flip these uh, directions of the motor. And Bontek sent me this really cool photo that was helpful. So pause it if you need it. And you're just going to move the fourth one and the second one and, you know, do the old switcheroo. So I'm going to let this video play out. Just pop this little pin up and you're going to take the second one and move it to where the fourth one was. So just like this, Bloop. you know, pull that out, slide it into the fourth, the last spot, and then take the, the one that was the fourth one and put it where the second one was. And we're counting from the top. You see where that little yellow clip is? That's the first one. So, you know, that's what I mean. One, two, three, four. And there you go. So now you've got uh, essentially just flipped the polarity of the motor, I guess. And now ste connect the stepper motor right there. So that way it'll work. And there you go. And now we'll connect the tubing into the brand new Bontec extruder. And you're, for this part, you're going to need some Allen wrenches, a multimeter, and a tiny screwdriver. So turn off the box and open it up. Want to make sure you turn it off so you don't electrocute yourself. Thank you, Bontech, for you know giving us this stuff to test out. Just pop off these four little hex screws. Put your plate over to the side. Take off the power supply. Again, the power is off so you don't electrocute yourself. And just pry that bad boy out. And then just like throw it to the side. Be very careful with the cords. And now we've got our motherboard. And we're going to adjust the power. So to do that, plug the power back on in and flick the power on. Be careful not to electrocute yourself again. And now we're going to take that electrometer DC with two decimal points. You're going to take the black and put it there. And you're going to take the red and put it on the potentiometer, this little screwdriver looking thing. And we get a reading, 7.71. Now we get the T5 mini screwdriver and twist the potentiometer left or right until you get a reading of about 0.4, you know, maybe somewhere in the half area. That's good enough, 0.4. And go ahead and turn it off, pull out the plug, and put your power supply back in there. Just pop the side out, drop it in, put those screws back in, put your plate back on, and lock it up. There you go, getting ready to 3D print. So flip it on over, plug it back in, and fire it up. Now it says the extruder, the new extruder uses gear reduction to create a high extrusion resolution and high torque. The E step value needs to be changed. The E step value tells the printer how many steps to send to the motor for each millimeter of filament. So this is the original start script for uh, the CR10 when using Simplify 3D, which I luckily have. Uh, it says if you're using original firmware, which I am on my 3D printer, on the CR10, you will have to add the following line to the start script so it will set the new E step value to 415. M92 E415. So, this is what the original looks like. But what it's saying is that we just have to add this one little line right here in there. So, I'm just going to copy that. So, now we'll open up Simplify 3D. So, either hit add or you can double click on the process. And then, you know, you should have your printer set up. Mine's already CR10, so make sure you have that selected. And then we'll go to scripts. And so after the G28 command, we're just going to paste in that new one right there. So set new e step value for Bontech BMG extruder. And that should be it. So we're going to go ahead and update the profile. Hey, hey, and hit OK. And that's it. That was pretty easy. If you're using Kira, it will be the same. Uh, if you're using custom firmware, then you'll have to change it another way. You'll have to add the command into the start script, you know, inside of your custom firmware. Hard filaments like PLA, ABS, PETG, tighten the scrum thumb screw fully and then back it off one and a half turns. Soft filaments, tighten the 
thumb screw fully and then back it off three or four turns. Good luck. All right, here we go. So let's go ahead and start trying to print something. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we did it. I did it. I successfully upgraded this extruder from Bontech. We're rocking at 200% right now. I'm just doing a simple cube and it looks pretty amazing. Now we have a badass extruder that can hopefully, uh, you know, take, use two gears and push this filament through. I can use it for flexible filaments, more exotic filaments. I've also got a Swiss, uh, micro Swiss hot end on there. So it should be able to do some, some pretty cool 3D prints. So stay tuned. I'm gonna play with this, uh, this uh, Bond Tech extruder for a few few weeks and just kind of update. I'll do a, a kind of an overview of what I think of it. And if you want to buy one of these for your CR10 to CR10S, go to my website, go to my gear list and I'll put it on there so you can buy it and that'll help this channel grow as well. All right, later y'all, peace.